morning everybody on this Vitas Vito excuse me Vito 3 a little breezy out here this morning as you can probably hear the wind through the microphone a uh, whole lot colder uh, temperature this morning is 38 degrees um, today's high is supposed to be 66 uh, clear skies uh, so tonight is supposed to get a frost. I'm hoping we miss that frost. Uh, as I was talking about yesterday uh, in my video, I've still got uh, fruit out there in the garden. Um, if they hit it, I've got to pick it. I can at least maybe get the seeds out of the um, cantaloupe and uh, planting for next year. Uh, 28 melons that's a lot of seed um, maybe I can give them to friends or whatever uh, to plant um, I normally get my seeds um, out of the garden um, give an example like watermelon for example uh, the watermelon seeds inside the watermelon uh, you pick those out wash them and then dry them and uh, they will be good for the next year. You can plant them and they'll grow more watermelon. Uh, so, um, yeah, it um, saves a few bucks when you plant. Um, same thing with cucumbers. You can let a few go to seed. Uh, same thing with just about anything you grow. It'll go into seed. You can uh, harvest that. Um, and um, so uh, you've got seeds for next year. Uh, potatoes are a real simple seed you can take uh, uh, potatoes cut them in half and uh, put them in the ground and they'll start growing uh, so uh, um, that works that's what I did last year uh, this year and got plenty um, so I got enough potatoes to last me all winter until next spring um, same thing with um, Watermelon. I had uh, plenty of watermelon uh, seeds and uh, cantaloupe. Last year was from uh, the church garden, and um, so I got plenty of cantaloupe. Uh, unfortunately, I screwed up and, and mixed cantaloupe with um, with uh, honeydew, so I've got a mixed. So, but um, they ripen the same way. Um, uh, by the way, uh, today or this month is uh, no bullying, so I can't pick on Brian this week. Uh, all this month, sorry. Uh, yeah, it's anti-bullying. Um, amazing how uh, people today is is getting uh, so bad about uh, uh, the bullying and uh, especially about comments. Um, on the internet uh, have you noticed that have you noticed how bad it's getting uh, uh, people you know uh, God you're so fat uh, you know or uh, well you look stupid you know things of that nature you know how people can be so hateful what's happened uh, to people in general you know Have we really come to this? Uh, God, I remember back years ago, uh, back when I was a kid, you know, uh, kids respected their elders, and you know, and you, you didn't talk like that. Uh, of course, we didn't have the electronics as we do today. Um, cell phones and internet. Um, didn't even have microwaves back then <laughs> you know it's just amazing on how technology is keeps growing and growing and growing and and um, the way people are getting more rude um, I have a lady friend that's on Facebook um, and uh, oh I mean she's a lovely lady I mean uh, uh, she uh, how can I explain her? She's um, 
Oh, she's just awesome. I mean, it's just hard to explain because I got lots of feelings for this lady. And, you know, people on Facebook is getting on to her for being her freedom of speech of her political views. You know, such as like, she doesn't like Obama. She doesn't like Romney either, I don't, as far as I know. Uh, but we don't have that much of a choice in what we get. Um, I was a Ron Paul guy myself, but uh, I don't like Romney that well. But he's better than Obama, I think. Uh, but that's my opinion. But people on her Facebook channel is telling her, you know, she's stupid, you know, she, you know, because she doesn't like Obama, and that's not right, people. Uh, if you have your view, you got your view. Freedom of speech. You know, are we turning our country into a non-freedom of speech? In other words, we don't have the right to say what we want. Uh, now, it is illegal for you to cuss. In other words, the F-bomb, the, uh, the, uh, the S-H word, the, uh, uh, that is, um, that's non-appropriate. But, uh, far as saying, I don't like Obama, I think he stinks. That's legal to do so. That's your freedom of speech. You know, or I don't like Romney. I think he sucks. Okay. That's your freedom of speech. That's our freedom. But now it's coming to a police state. They, There was a video showed it on the news where a police officer had a man's hands on his hood of his patrol car and the guy looked at the officer like this, you know, just looked at hand still on the hood, and he tased him because of that. And you could hear this guy screaming bloody murder, and he just kept doing it. We turning out to be a police state. You know, policemen have rules too, you know, and we don't need to be a communist country. Are we turning out to be a communist country? Is are we going to start going, Hail Obama, you know, instead of Hail Hi Hitler? Is it Hail Obama? Come on, folks. Or Hail Romney? That's just not right, folks. That's my opinions. Okay, that's my right to do so. If you got other opinions, leave comments downstairs down here don't cuss because I'll delete them you know you have the right to your freedom of speech as this lady has the right to on her Facebook it's her Facebook page she has the right to say whatever unfriendly you know if you don't like it unfriend her why do you want to do hateful comments like oh lady you're fat or oh, you're ugly why, why do haters? Uh, come on, people. You know, this lady is one of the sweetest ladies you could ever know. She cares about people. She works for a county. Uh, she's just awesome. And, um... Okay, gang, I'm going to call that good. I'm about to freeze my butt off out here. I'm uh, in uh, flip-flops this morning. My feet are cold. Uh, go to bake a cake today from scratch. Uh, today, uh, yesterday actually, uh, was my nurse's birthday. Uh, she was 24. And so I uh, went down to the uh, Albertsons local, Albertsons here, and uh, uh, bought uh, stuff to make a cake this morning for her. And I've got a, you know, number 24, you know, candle. But to stupid number two was busted it was the only number two they had so I tried to melt it and got it together as best I could so uh, hopefully she'll like it um, it's gonna be a dark chocolate cake uh, with uh, dark chocolate ice cream uh, icing on it uh, with vanilla ice cream so uh, yeah diabetic nightmare yeah I hear you folks until tomorrow to uh, Vito 4, have you a great day, and uh, 
really going to be cold out here tomorrow. I'm going to put some shoes on. So uh, I like vlogging outside in the fresh air. So uh, take care, guys. It also keeps my videos from being so long. <laughs> See you, gang. Bye-bye.